We have this wonderful thing called an election. Except how wonderful is it when you have a misled and biased population voting? Our wonderful president is Mr. Donald Trump. To insult him would be the equivalent of insulting all of America, as he is our sole representation for the rest of the world. We elected him, our own doing, under the slogan, Make America Great Again. I was under the impression that it was already pretty great, but apparently he does not agree. This system is fucked. It supports very few select individuals on the basis that they are of a certain gender or ethnicity. We praise violence and we demonstrate disloyalty everywhere you look, starting in the White House. Not very united, is it? I am a Muslim American and a proud one at that. I may not pray three times a day and I haven't even read the Quran all the way, but I accept the teaching, humility, charity, and the general willingness to fight for what you believe in. Since election day, we've had a war on Muslims because they are terrorists, war on Mexicans because they are drug lords, war on Spanish speakers because our national language is English. Hint, it's not. Our president turns God-loving, well-educated white people into racists. And it was not until my friend and mentor turned to me and said, Muslims are trying to take over this country and put us all in camps that I realized how brainwashed he had people. I blame Donald Trump for trying to control the United States of America, for limiting my personal freedoms, and for inspiring cruelty and intolerance. From day one, he ran on Make America Great Again, which for those who don't speak American, roughly equated to Make America White Again. This is oddly hysterical given that he chose to make himself orange. So why make America white again? We prospered when we attacked the Native Americans. We prospered economically during both world wars on the backs of hard-working men and women who made the wealthy people wealthier. Odd that our president has an economical stake in his own companies, and odd how despite the lack of support in local households, all of his economical issues have slowly lessened. Our president is not even a self-made man. His fortune came from a small loan of a million dollars that he received from his father. That's not success, that's nepotism. Interesting how that man is still the one who almost started World War III earlier this year. What would it be? Small war of a million lives? That man does not have my faith or my trust. It is great that we have a president who knows what he wants. It's just sad that he chooses to be friends with murderous dictators such as Kim Jong-un instead of protecting the people who elected him. Instead, we live in hatred as our leader pits us against one another yet again. He somehow manages to spin everything despite his constant lack of attention to the needs of his voters. He brings out the worst in Americans. I think of a crying baby. Somehow the baby is all the power. It is loved and it is supported. And this crying baby does whatever he wants, and if someone opposes him, he cries and he screams, and he turns everyone against them for the sole reason of making the baby cry. Not that it is fair to refer to our nation's leader as a baby, since he was smart enough to con the country. As a male, it is hard to fully understand what it is like to be seen as less than another person. At least it was until this president. I hate the way I have to disown the man elected to be my global representation, but I stand by Make America Great Again, because Donald Trump certainly hasn't fixed anything. He's only made it worse. So let us make America great again, and let us unite.